What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and we're looking at two new knives from Schrade. We have the Schrade SCHF 56 and the 56L. These are bushcraft style knives that they're putting out. You're gonna find them in the 2016 catalog and I got a hold of these to, uh, to review. So let me just give you some of the real quick specs. You have 1095 high carbon steel for both. Full tang, you've got a polyester uh, belt sheath with a built in ferro rod holder and they do include the ferro rod with that, uh, that kind of bungee string to wrap around there so it stays in place. For the 56L, you're gonna be looking at 9.1 inches overall and a 4.4 inch blade. And for the 56, 8.2 inches overall and a 3.5 inch blade. All right, you don't wanna just see the sheaths, I'm sure. Let's take a look at the actual knives. So here they are, very, uh, very I would say very basic, but if you know bushcraft knives, they're often very basic. One of my, I don't know, I want to say issues, maybe too strong a word, but one of my, I guess, issues with the um, like the 51 and the 52 was that they were called bushcraft knives, but they were just really big. And this, to me, is actually the style of a bushcraft knife. Now, for some people, they're going to say TPE handles. Uh, that's not bushcraft. You have to have wood or, you know, maybe G10 or micarta or something like that. But um, the style right here for me, I'm like, that is a bushcraft style knife and the size of it. Um, I actually... I like both of these knives, just having held them a bit, but I like the uh, the 56 a little bit more just because I look at this and say that's a nice companion size knife. The 56L, a um, little bit bigger, but this, uh, this 56, it's weird because the thickness is going to be the same on these two knives, but the, um, the 56L just overall, this one, the 56 feels chunkier to me, and this one just feels more balanced, but I still, I kind of like the way this feels in the hand just feels really rugged and you know durable so uh you got these knives the sheaths i don't know you know they're not amazing or anything uh, let me get these out of the way the sheath they're basically going to save you money on it um i've seen much better sheaths from Schrade. a lot of people get annoyed when they have you know a um like a polyester or you know basically this kind of stitched sheath this thing is definitely nothing to write home about. I do like the fact that they included that little ferro rod holder. They haven't done that in the other ones. They'll put a little pocket on the front that you slide the uh, ferro rod down into. And then if you, you know, uh, accidentally gets bumped open, it could it could fall out. I like the fact that this is kind of locked in. Ferro rod, I've used lots of different ferro rods from Shrade. These work just fine. Again, nothing like, you know, amazing about them, but they work just fine. They do the job. And you got to scrape off that little coating and then you are, then you're good to go. So that's what the sheath looks like. The 56 and the 56L sheaths look pretty much exactly the same other than the fact that the, basically the pocket for the actual blade on the 56 is a little bit uh, a little bit shorter. So let's get these out of the way and let's zoom in here. We're going to look particularly at the 56L because I think overall people are going to be probably more interested in this one. But let's zoom in and then we'll talk about that one a little bit more. So here's your 56L. That's what it looks like in hand on both sides so um, a couple things to note here is that it looks like what they did similar to when they improved the 36 up to the 51 and the 52 or the 36 37 38 that was kind of their original line of bushcraft knives and then they upgraded and made some changes it looked like they they took some of those changes and and uh basically used them in this as well you can see you've got the tpe texture here and then it's kind of cut out here or smoothed out here and smoothed out here and same thing on that side as well, which I think is going to make a difference when you're actually using the knife. Um, that was one of the, the things when I first held the um, some of the original 51 and 52s at Blade Show 2015. I just noticed that even the texturing on the handle uh, was was more comfortable. So that's one of your um, one of your differences. No big choil here. You're not going to be able to choke up. That's not what it's for. Choil is originally so you can sharpen all the way down to the end of the blade. So you can do that with this one. You got the Schrade logo. Your weight, 8.4 ounces, and your uh, your thickness, they don't have listed here in the, um, they don't have listed here in the catalog that I have in front of me, but let me, uh, let me look that up real quick, and we'll add that into the video here. I'll put a little annotation so you can see how thick they are. What I want to do now is uh, just roll back and have a, uh, have a look at this knife compared to the 56, and then also compare it to some of the other more well-known Schrade knives. Okay, working from the bottom up to the top, we have the 56, then we have the 56L, we have the 9N, the 42, and then the 52 up top. So you can see that these two knives are definitely the uh, the smallest of the family of knives here. 
So a different style, uh, you know, this one up top, big, hefty, survival, outdoor, you know, uh, knife, moving down to something a little bit more, kind of a bushcraft knife, and then you got a big survival knife like this, smaller, this is, uh, these two are very similar in size, but the 50, uh, 56L is a little bit smaller than the 42, and then your 56 is definitely going to be the smallest of all of them. All right, I'm outside now, and uh, you may be able to hear the rain. It's definitely a kind of a gray day out. I've got the SCHF 56, and so this is the compact version of these knives, as you can see. And this is actually kind of cool because, um, you know, when people do batoning or working with fire and stuff, that's cool to do to review a uh, to review a knife. But this is a situation like if I was out here, you know, there's a pond over here in my in my in the distance. Um, if I was out in these woods at night, one of the first things I'd be focused on is fire. So what we'll do is we'll get a little feather stick going, and then we'll uh, get out our ferro rod and actually test it out. And in the process, we'll learn a little about a little bit about the SCHF 56. Here's a quick look at the sheath on my belt and. Deployment of the knife, very easy. I will caution you that you want to make sure that hook and loop closure is really secure because there's no snap there. So don't kind of, you know, sort of tap it over. Make sure that's really locked in so you don't lose your knife while you're walking around. Just to show you real quick, it is not just wet anymore, but it's also raining outside. So we're going to really put the, uh, the knife to the test to see if we can get some fine enough feathers, hit it with a spark. And if we were in a situation stuck out here, at least we'd have to, uh, we have fire for ourselves. The rain's coming down hard enough at this point that I actually have to get the camera underneath a little hemlock here. And working on a little bit of a feather stick. As I cut this wood, I can already tell that this is, it's too damp to use, but because it is hemlock and it has those natural resins in it. I am going to save this. So if I get a little bit of a flame going, those natural resins might actually help. Or, you know, they might catch. So I'm going to just keep this out of the way. I do have another stick here. This was also, this is, I found this under the hemlock. Let me get some of that bark off. I can tell you that one thing I think already about the, uh, I'm going to keep forgetting the number. 56 here, 56, 58, 56. 56 is that um, those TPE handles are quite comfortable. So I don't, you know, they're, I got no gloves on right now. And this is not bothering me at all. You can tell the light is going down. The sun is pretty much headed on its way. So this is hard to do as the light fades, but I am getting some little, little tiny little feathers there. More like curls than major feathers. Alright, so I've got a little bit there. Let me hold it up to the camera so you can see. There's that. Let me save that and uh, I'll find another stick see if we can get something bigger. All right, so as the sun is fading, you can see right here what we have is just a large downed log. Let me pull the camera back so you can see it. So just a large tree that has been downed. And what I did, let's see if I can get this set up correctly. What I did was I basically just lifted this upper portion here. So here's what that piece of wood looks like. And you can see I already started to feather it a little bit just to test it out. And it started to work just really nicely. So let's take the 56 to this, see if we can get some feathers, and then hit it with a spark before dark completely falls in. It is beautiful. All right, so we got our 56 here. I'm just cutting up this top section where the angles are pretty, pretty sharp. And you can see we're getting some, some nice feathers there. This uh, very comfortable, very comfortable so far. A little bit there. We can use those. Let's try it up here a little bit now. Get that wet portion off the top, out of the way. You 
can see I'm now holding it like this just to get a little bit more power. It's definitely working just fine. So there's that. Pretty nice. Now I gotta snap these off. You know, probably the, I'll just do this whole piece and use this section. And then I'll use the rest of this to uh, make some more feathers. So I do need a little bit of a baton, so. Got one right here. And now I've got some nice dry wood there on the inside. I'll uh, see if we can get some really nice feathers with that. Which, yeah, we can. Really thin, really small. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the one right there. Here we go. It's actually been about a week since I filmed that last portion of the video. I was away on vacation for a little bit, and as you can probably tell from the noise and just looking at the uh, the background, it's still pretty gray and wet here in New Hampshire, but supposedly we're getting our first snow uh, in the next couple days. Anyhow, let's wrap up talking about the SCHF 56 and the 56L. Here's what I'm gonna tell you, is that I've had my hands on a lot of different Schrade knives over the years, and I don't wanna overstate it, but this might be my favorite Schrade fixed blade so far. I've liked some of the other ones. A lot of people are really excited about the uh, 42 and the 42, I think it's the 42D. And I like them, but I didn't like them like as much as everybody else did. I thought they were good. Um, but the 56 and the 56L, these are, I'm just, they're super ergonomic, very comfortable, very easy to use. Um, I like that Teflon type coating that they have on the, um, on the blade there. So you're not gonna have any, you know, major uh, rust issues and you're not gonna have a lot of that grit. Like on the powder coating that they've sometimes done, you get grit that just seems to get stuck in there. This just functions really, really well. Um, it was really fun to use, easy to use. And uh, so this is the, the 56, got the 56L here. Let's see if I can get it out. Yeah, there it is. So 56, 56L, that's what those look like. The L is um, definitely a more full size, like bushcraft style knife. This one is, I would call a, a bit more of kind of the companion size. So if you didn't mind the weight and the thickness, um, you know, you might be able to build one of those uh, sheaths, custom sheaths, that basically, you know, they kind of piggyback. You have a large, uh, a larger knife and then a smaller knife. I'm not even thinking about taking the, uh, the TPE handles off, even though they're really comfortable, and, um, and doing like a uh, paracord wrap just to make it even more lightweight. But both these knives, just very, very impressed. Good steel, uh, nice blade, good length, nice, thickness on the blade um, it's not like unmanageable sometimes you get a blade that's just so thick it's hard to do some of that detail work I don't find that with these blades um, yeah overall just really really liking these a lot again to be candid with you you know when I first got them I was like I'll test them out they'll probably be fine they'll probably be good knives but these are the type of knives that uh, you know I I would definitely recommend if you're getting into bushcrafting or the outdoors you're like I don't want to spend a ton of money and I want a, a nice compact knife uh, not a huge chopper or something like that this could really be a good option for you. There's your 56 and your 56L by Schrade. Definitely getting a thumbs up from Everyday Tactical Vids if you're looking for a budget-friendly uh, budget knife as you get into the outdoors or continue your adventures in the outdoors. Thanks as always for checking out our videos here on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on all the social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.